Hey, I'm Aileen. Welcome to my channel, a place to make art and find your power. I want to show you how to make a vision board for 2020 that actually works because I'm going to show you how to make a vision board that supports your dreams while you're in quarantine. Let's get started. The most important aspect of making a vision board for 2020 is to be specific and to reflect your dream goals. So step number one, write down your dream goals. Or if you don't have any goals and you'd like to create some right now, watch my video on how to set goals that you'll actually achieve. I'll link it over here somewhere and then come back to this video. Like I said, the most important thing about your vision board is that it reflects your dream goals and who you truly want to become. One of my dream goals is I want to be a professional artist, so of course my vision board is going to be really artistic and I'm actually going to include a small painting, so that's why I'm getting started with that. Please don't feel obligated to do anything complicated at all. I've always been into making collages and paintings for me. This is who I am. This is a true reflection of me. If you have a simple style or relaxed lifestyle, then do that. When you're making a vision board, try to have fun and be true to yourself. That's what matters most. Now, as you can see, I love making collages and I have a little collection of images that I've collected throughout the year. I'm now on my third bullet journal, so I know to start collecting these. I'm also 100% completely obsessed with washi tape and it is the best invention ever. Also very important, make sure you have a snack so you can actually get lost in the process and really take your time. Step number two, rethink your dream goals. If you're a normal human being, most of your dream goals probably involve actually going outside your house and talking to other people. So what we're going to do is go deeper. When we're making a vision board for 2020, we need to focus on the behaviors, people, places, things that will support us and keep us focused on our dream goals. And now what you want to start doing is of course figuring out how to place the images on your board or paper or journal, whatever you're using for your vision board. As you can see, I'm actually obsessed with my bullet journal, so that's why I'm making a vision board as a butcher spread. But you can use whatever materials you like, and it can be as simple as you like. But the most important thing is that what you want and the pictures or words that you're putting onto the page are extremely specific to the situations that you want to come true. So on this first page, what I'm gonna do is, like I said, do those little goals that are really gonna set me up for success in the future. These goals are very basic. They're basically just reminding myself to drink water, eat healthy foods, get good sleep, and focus as much as I can on just staying in relatively good shape which for me that means doing things like yoga because that's what I actually enjoy doing from home I enjoy doing yoga and of course I can also shadow box so in the next few pages I have my dream goals and my actual big goals which of course I can actually achieve once we get out of quarantine for example I have a travel I want to go to Costa Rica and Nicaragua and it was actually my goal to go during Christmas but some personal stuff came up and then my goal was to go during spring break and of course coronavirus did away with all of our big goals so on of course at the bottom I want to see friends family you know I want to see everyone again I want to have fun I want to like forget that I ever had to step six feet away from people like I said my big goal for the year was to compete in martial arts and win and of course I have my favorite fighter Joanna Jindicic she's what inspired me to start training martial arts anytime I see her I'm just reminded that my goal is to figure out how good I can get at the sport and in the middle of the page I have one of my very favorite goals from you know like spirituality and stuff like that which is nothing real can never be threatened 
nothing unreal exists. All the dream goals that we had before we knew about the coronavirus, they're still gonna happen for us if they're true to who we are, if we're still interested in pursuing them. And so this quote just reminds me not to worry because a lot of the times when we worry, the things that we worried about don't even happen but we wasted so much time worrying so i'm not gonna worry about will my goals ever come true okay on this first page thank god i can still work on my goal of being a youtuber thank you and if hey if youtube is one of the things you've always wanted to try go ahead right now this is one of the few things that we can actually go after from the inside of our home so it is like i said you guys one of my big dreams is to be a professional artist and I think the greatest thing about our generation is that we have the internet and at the bottom I have of course my dream home which will most likely not happen this year but you know but whatever is I've always dreamed of number one living in a loft and having a studio that has a lot of windows and of course having a career that is based on my talents and so so yeah this is how you create a vision board for the time that we're spending in quarantine and i went ahead and substituted those words with a new quote which i really like which is if it's important to you you'll find a way if not you will find an excuse which is how i feel about all my goals, even the ones that I cannot achieve this year. Now, of course, no vision board will ever replace the amount of work that you put towards your goals, but what you want to do is focus your mind on what you actually want so that you will be inspired to actually go after it. Even if they're really small things like making a bowl of food, the last step of this process, I would say, is just to place your vision board somewhere where you're going to look at it all the time because you want to use this as a tool for you to focus and to be constantly reminded of the things that really matter to you and what you should be doing for the next year. And that's really all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If you still are, let me know in the comments how you're rewriting your goals so you can work on them during this year or however long it lasts, you know, self-isolation. Remember to follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.